Hey guys and gals, Mike Rick at 113 here. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Happy weekend. Uh, I just wanted to say the uh, the conditions for uh, 11 meter there for AM and sideband and FM, and we can say that now with FM, uh, there are people out there making skip contacts with uh, FM frequency modulation and 10 meter, 12 meter, and uh, uh, 15 meter have been really good, mostly focusing on 10 meter here. So 10 meter has been lit up uh, like a Christmas tree, especially uh, last week when there was that Worldwide DX contest. And 11 meter has been uh, lit up pretty well, too. Uh, just a quick one here. If uh, any of you 11 meter operators out there, and you know who you are, and, you know, some of you are, you know, hobbyists and you love talking skip. Some of you have buddies uh, nearby and you talk to them. Or maybe you are uh, you use it occupationally, whether it be at a quarry, uh, in your dump truck, or your long-haul uh, tractor-trailer. Uh, if you want something more than uh, <clears throat> the tool that you're using right now, I suggest you uh, get into amateur radio. You know, a lot of you guys have 10-meter uh, sets already uh, that you have uh, peaked for or, or, you know, converted to 11-meter. Uh, which is, you know, you do you. You got to do you. If that's what you want to do and go that route, then, you know, that's fine by your standards. Not legal, but, you know, you do you. Or if you're a traditionalist like myself and uh, you stick with the uh, the rules per se and, uh, you know, use a regular FCC approved uh, rig, then you have that option. But if you're looking for something more, I suggest since you probably have the gear already, is to maybe think about getting your test. Just a technician. If you want to go more, if you want to get general and get more privileges, then yeah, go ahead and do that. But if you just take the technician test, if you just take the technician test, get the ARRL manual. I'll put a link in the description for that on Amazon. It's the fifth edition now, uh, the fifth edition with the new question pool and everything. Uh, easy study guide, easy source mate material. You'll learn more about r the radio hobby that you already love so much. And then it's, then you'll be able to sit there and talk to your buddies still on 11 meter and still be able to get on 10 meter sideband and enjoy that. And then be able to get on uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, 6 meter uh, and, and above and above, you'll be an amateur radio operator, but you know, you'll still be an 11 meter operator. That doesn't go away because I'm an amateur radio operator. I still love 11 meter. I still talk to people that are local and sometimes skip, you know, cause I'm running QRP here with a 12 watt sideband rig, but you know, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. You're learning about the hobby. And with amateur radio, you could do so much more, even as a technician, I've known guys that are technicians for years, and they haven't upgraded, uh, and that's fine. And they love VHF, UHF, and they love 10 meter, and they love doing digital. You could do digital modes. You can do WinLink, uh, which is sending email over uh, over the airwaves. Uh, obviously, you'll be able to work all the repeaters legally once you study up. You can pass the test, and honestly, guys and girls, the test is really easy. It's really easy. And, uh, oh, it's a test. It's a test. I don't want to have to do that. You know what? Learn something. Everybody needs to learn something new. I don't care what it is, but somebody, you need to keep the brain active and moving, you know? So it's not that hard. There's a lot of exams that are done, you know, every, every month. There's exams everywhere. And you can just study up over the winter time and then go take your test, you know? And you'll be able to enjoy the hobby a little bit more and you'll have a better knowledge base. So today I'm uh, promoting amateur radio. And like I said, I'll have a link in the description with the uh, ARRL 5th edition manual on Amazon. You can pick it up on Kindle or the Spiral Bound. I got the Spiral Bound personally. There's also hamstudy.org, uh, I believe. Uh, that's a website that's free. You can, uh, you can do a login and uh, set up an account and that will help you study. It's like flashcards that track your progress and I'll put a link there as well. But hey, just think about it. Just think about it, all you 11 meter guys out there. And I know a lot of amateurs. I know a lot of amateurs that we all started our hobby here. We started our hobby here and, uh, and then we moved on to this. 
And we moved on, but we never forgot this because they're still out there. I hear them on sideband all the time. You could tell. You could really tell who the operators are. Some of them are hams. Some of them are hams. Anyway, so this is Mike Cricket 113. Uh, we're at the five-minute mark here, so I'm going to say 7-3. Enjoy the skip out there. It's out there. And uh, enjoy the weekend. And once again, please, keep, please, please keep playing with those radios and keep in, expanding that mind. So think about it. Think about it. Mike Cricket, 113, and we're clear.